Hello and welcome to the Josh 97HD channel. Today we have the base icon, Italian Stallion, Del Piero, to review for you guys. So if you do enjoy the video today, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button and if you are new around here, please do subscribe because you've already missed out on the vote for this man. Now I always do a vote on the community tab to see who you guys want to see reviewed in the next video. So if you're not subscribed, you're missing out because that might be your chance to say who you want to see reviewed. Now, obviously, we've got Hadji in this team as well. His review will probably be coming out tomorrow or maybe even Sunday. So make sure you're subscribed and keep your eyes out for that one as well. So we've got Del Piero. Looks pretty beastly. He's got some insane stats. We'll start off with his player bio and he's got four star skills and a five star week for absolutely perfect. High medium as well. Pretty decent and he cost me 763,000 coin. Now he has got some insane stats on his card. 88 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. Pretty damn decent to be fair. It is his base card, and it is his fastest card so far as well. His shooting category is absolutely stacked. 90 finishing, brilliant. 90 penalties, 88 volleys, and then he's only got 84 shot power, which is quite low. Well, it's not quite low, but it's not great. I mean, it could be a lot higher, but we'll see how it, we'll see how it is. We'll see how it is in game. His passing is pretty decent as well for a striker. So you could probably play him at a central cam or a wide cam if you wanted to because he has got that crossing ability as well. He's dribbling. There is one stat in there that does look a bit shit and it's his 72 balance. Now, I didn't expect that from this card to be honest. I expected his balance to be quite high. You know, compare it to like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. That's what he looks like because Cristiano Ronaldo has high everything apart from his balance. So he matches Ronaldo in that sense. Obviously, this guy is five foot nine, so he's very small, and he ain't winning head up for shit. So, 64 jumping and 64 head and accuracy is poo. So, he ain't going to win you any headers. He has got 88 stamina, though, which is really good. So, if you did want to play him at cam or at striker, he can definitely do you the job and last all game long. Now, 62 strength and 68 aggression ain't great. He's obviously very weak. He has got the flur, speed dribbler, and technical dribbler trait. Now, if you do get his prime, that does have finesse shot trait where is mid and this card does not so that might be a selling point if you wanted to go and get his prime and it's not that much different in cost i don't think i don't think it is at all so there's his icon profile for you as well we're going to use him in this team use him as a striker we're going to play haji at cam in a 4-2-3-1 formation haji is a central cam in behind him and hopefully there's going to be some nice link up play between the two and hopefully they're both going to be absolutely amazing. But we're going to get my verdict on this card in this review. So make sure you do smash that thumbs up button, guys. It means so much. And if you are new, please do subscribe because we are trying to hit 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I'm hoping for maybe around March. I mean, we're 200, 300 off. So please do smash that subscribe button. It does mean a lot, and it means I can reach my goal, and I'll be absolutely made up with you guys. I really will. So please do now, I cannot wait to use this card. I've, all, I've wanted to try him all year round, to be honest. And now has come the time to try him. I mean, he's got the meta, hasn't he? Four-star skills, five-star weak foot. Obviously, meta is five-star skills. But, yeah, he's got the five-star weak foot, which we definitely need on a striker. It just makes so much of a difference. So, that's going to definitely be a pro from the start off. But, anyway, we'll get into the first game and see if Del Piero can perform in-game. So the first team we come up against, and he's got that freeze Gnabry card. It was absolutely ridiculous. He's gone for Meta, hasn't he? I mean, he could have got Varane, but he might not have the coins to get Varane. So that's why he's gone for that. I can't remember his name, to be honest. I can't remember his name. Pretty decent team to start up against. But I'm sure we can beat this guy in the first game of the weekend league this weekend. So let's go. Del Piero on the edge. Can we get a finesse shot? Yes, we can. But the defender gets a block in. Oh, we've won it back. We've won it back. Can we do anything? No, we fucking can't. We've won it back with Pogba. Can we get it to Del Piero? Yes, we can. And there's the first goal. Come on. Get in, Del Piero. Eight minutes in. Great goal. And he's already proven to me. That he's pretty decent, to be honest. He's been fighting. He's been fighting to get a goal. And in the eight minutes he's played already, he's already got one. So, absolutely brilliant to start off with him. I made up so far. Can he carry on? Or was it just a one-goal wonder? Oh, 
Oh, lovely. He does him. He does him. Oh, but the keeper got his fingertips to that one. Let it go through his legs and then had a shot off, but he didn't manage to get the goal. Oh, what the fuck? Joe Gomez just scored a bicycle kick. Oh, my God. I have to put this in the review. What a fucking joke. Joe Gomez, the absolute cat CR7 there. Oh, my God. Nice play. Nice play. Can we find him? Yes, we can. Is it his second? Oh, my God. The keeper saves it. But we do get the rebound. And we're 3-0 up. And he's going to have a rage quit. 3-0 up in 20 minutes. Great performance by Del Piero. Great performance by Hadji as well. But Del Piero getting the goal in this game. And he was a fighter already. He's been fighting. He's been having shots. He's been getting goals. And in 20 minutes for FIFA already, we've had a rage quit. And he's been absolutely brilliant. So we'll get on into the second game and see if he can perform in that one as well. So here we go. Match number two. He's got Neymar. Who else has he got? It's taking ages to load up for some reason. Maldini. Is that the... That must be the uh, SBC version of Herario. Herario, I have no idea how to pronounce his name. Decent team, pretty decent team. He's got meta players, but again, Del Piero's going to do this business, isn't he? He's going to get 15 goals in this game. Come on, Del Piero. Get the win for us, mate. Nice one, two. Can we cut in? No, we can't. Come on. Oh, unlucky. So, at the end of the first half, one of the most boring halves of football I've ever played in my entire life. Absolutely terrible. He is literally just keeping the ball, passing it around his midfield, passing it around the back. He is the most boring, boring FIFA player I've ever played in my entire FIFA history. He is so, so boring. And I really don't know why. Look at the state of that. He's 71% possession. He's had two shots, none on target. Because he's been passing it around the back for the whole frigging game. If you enjoy FIFA playing like that, you are an idiot. You really are. What is the actual point in just passing it around the back in the midfield? So, Del Piero and Hadji have done nothing because he's literally just kept the ball for no apparent reason whatsoever. So, first half has been hard because... It's just such a boring game. So let's go on into the second half. Hopefully, Del Piero can come up with a goal and break the deadlock. We find Del Piero in the box and he's broke the deadlock. He's broke the deadlock. So we have an attack after this guy's been passing around the whole game. We get the corner and then bang. We find him off the corner. He quickly turns and puts it into the back of the net. Absolutely great finish by Del Piero on his strong foot there. Right in the top bin, rifles it in. Del Piero, nice ball over. Can we get it back to him? Yes, we can. We find him. Can he get a goal? Oh, the keeper comes out. We still got it, though. And Rashford puts it into the back of the net. Great goal. And it was a nice one-two play. Unfortunately, he couldn't just get there in front of the goalkeeper. But Rashford puts it into the back of the net anyway. Get in. What a goal from Del Piero. Last minute. Thank God I've won against this idiot. Absolute idiot. He did pull two back. Just passing it around. It pisses me off. It really does. If you come up against me, please don't play passing around football. Really winds me up. But in the last minute of the game, Del Piero comes up with an absolute screamer. The bloody recording cut out. So we'll look at this goal again. Absolutely smacked it past the goalkeeper. Near post. The shot power. The keeper couldn't get near. And I've talked about the shot power before being quite low at 84. But there it comes up trumps. Left footed finish. And that is why you buy this card. Left foot, right foot. Because of the five star. Because he can do stuff like that on both feet. Is why you would buy this card. Definitely. First game. Uh, second game, sorry. He scored two goals. Absolutely brilliant performance from him. And, yeah, he was a really fun card in this one, yet again, for me. So, we'll go on into the third game, and we'll see if he can perform yet again to that high standard he already has produced in the first two. Let's go. So, here we go into the third game, and he's using the loan card because he's a sweaty motherfucker. 
He has got lone 97 Maradona on the pitch. He's got a base Stoichkov and a Lionel Messi and Van Dijk. rest of the team, though, looks pretty average, doesn't it? Average. So, hopefully we can win this one again. And hopefully, Del Piero is going to prove why he is worth those coins in this one. Let's go. Lovely cut inside. Absolutely lovely. Come on. And he's finished his dinner as well. What a goal. Look at the agility on show there to quickly turn inside. And then a lovely curved finesse shot into that right-hand corner. His finesse shots have been lethal, even though he doesn't have the finesse shot trait. So, absolutely brilliant. Again, from Del Piero. Can we get it to him? He gets it over. First time finish. Yes, he can. Absolute great volley. Another amazing goal. This man is ridiculous. I'm really, really enjoying this card so far. Honestly, he's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look at the strength there. I'm saying that as he gets absolutely bullied then by Stoichkov. But he tried, he tried. <laughs> and we're on the attack yet again. Come on, can we get something? Had you walked it through? I think he's offside. He does get the finish though. <laughs> Had you through. Had you through. Del Piero, Del Piero. Oh, he's missed the header. And that's what I'm talking about. His heading accuracy is crap. And he puts it well past the post there. So, at the end of the first half, he's already scored two amazing, amazing goals. So, first half of performance, yet again, is brilliant from him. Absolutely brilliant. His finishing ability has been sensational. Absolutely sensational. His dribbling has been really, really good as well. The quick turns, stuff like that. His balance hasn't really been a con so far, to be honest. But, he is weak, and you've already seen him. He way the header the header it went so far wide it nearly at the corner flag it was terrible so he can't win headers we all knew that anyway going into this just by his stats but it has confirmed it everything else though so far has been ridiculous absolutely ridiculous he's been absolutely brilliant for me can we find him yes we can can he turn yes he can he can't get the sh he gets the shot off but but the angle was too tight Can we get Del Piero in? Yes, we can. Can we get a cheeky chip? Oh, it sails over the bar. Sails over the bar. I should have just did it normally. That was my fault there. Can't really blame him, but he could have done better. He could have at least got it on target. Lovely play from Hadji. Lovely play from Hadji. Can we get Del Piero in? Can he get a goal? Of course he is. Of course he is. If he's in that position, he's going to get a goal. He's got his hat trick here. Brilliant performance. And is it going to be a rage quit? Yes, it is. So, third game, rage quit. So far, we're 3-0 in the weekend league. And this team has been brilliant. And it's mainly because of Del Piero and Hadji. Both playing amazing. Both playing amazing at the moment. So, he picks up his hat trick there. Match ball. Absolutely brilliant performance yet again from him. I mean, this guy has been so phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal for me. His goals, both feet, he can score them as well. He's just like Butcher Guenio. I mean, Butcher Guenio is obviously better on the ball, but from range, he's better than Butcher Guenio. He's not as fast, he's better, and he's a better playmaker than Butcher Guenio. So, if you're looking for that, then possibly go for this card. I would say, though, I would say he's better so far than um, base icon Dalglish. Tried base icon Dalglish. It didn't really blow me away, to be honest. Didn't blow me away whatsoever, but this Del Piero card has for the price, and he's got similar stats, and he's around the same similar price as well to that base icon Dalglish, so maybe go for Del Piero if you're going to choose between those two. So, the fourth and final game of the player review, he's got some meta players. He's got Robin flashback, he's got Ben Arthur flashback, and he's got that Rashford card. That Rashford card looks absolutely insane. I've only got his 86, so that 88, bet you it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be a hard one, this, but final game. He's done us wonders so far, so far, so far. Can he do wonders in this one? Let's see, let's see. Lovely pass, first time finish. Oh, he blasts it, but the keeper gets his hands on it. Lovely. We find space. Can we get a goal? No, we can't. Come on, 
Come on, Del Piero, piss off. That should be an obstruction, that. That should be a foul. Fucking dirty. Del Piero, Del Piero. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky, my friend. So, end of the first half, and lads, I'm getting absolutely slapped. Absolutely battered, but Alisson has been fucking awful. Fucking dreadful. He couldn't save a Word document. He couldn't catch fucking Corona, this man. He is absolutely wanking this game. Absolutely freaking terrible. I've had a couple of attempts with Del Piero. I mean, his defence and his keeper are doing the business, but man, are really not. I may as well have no keeper in net. He's had six shots on target and four goals. I've had three on target and no goals. I don't think I've played that bad, to be honest. He's a really good skiller, this guy, and Allison has been shocking. Absolutely dreadful. So we're going into the second half. Hopefully we can pull a couple of goals back, maybe, or do an Istanbul and win the frigging game. But let's go into the second half and see if Del Piero can pull us out the shit here. Can he play a nice ball over? Great pass to Rashford. Absolutely great pass, to be honest. And he's on the edge. Oh, we do find him. Can he get a goal? Yes, he can. Absolutely great play yet again. We've been playing pretty shit in this one. But Del Piero comes out trumps with a lovely goal. Absolutely brilliant goal. And a lovely pass to Rashford out wide as well. Ah, he got dinnered. He's just absolutely dinnered me. Hopefully we can get this penalty into the back of the net. We deserve it. We definitely deserve it. We do. Get in. Del Piero, two in this game. And yeah, he's been the highlight of my team in this game. We're getting absolutely battered. But he's come up with two goals and a decent performance again from him. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, we don't. Oh, the keeper gets the frigging fingers onto it. Very unlucky there. From Del Piero. Can we get it to him? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Can we chip the keeper? Yes, we can. Another hat trick for him. Brilliant performance yet again. Yes, again. We're still losing 5 2, though. But 5 3 even. But brilliant performance. Lovely hat trick. And he has scored some absolutely insane goals. So at the end of this one, we played pretty damn poo, to be honest. Well, this guy was really good. But Allison was really shit in there also. But we did manage to pull it back a bit. Three goals from Del Piero in the final game. Hat trick, absolutely brilliant performance. So let's get on into the overall rating and the overall summary of Del Piero. So as we get on into the player summary, my thoughts on this card, honestly, he was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I would definitely say he's worth every penny. I'd say he's better than informed Ben Yedder. He's better than Dalglish base icon. He's just absolutely sensational. You've seen the goals he's been scoring. You've seen the link-up play he's done. He has been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. High medium work rates, absolutely brilliant. The five-star weak foot is boss. Absolutely boss. It means he can score on both feet, and he did that time and time again for me nine goals in four games brilliant performances from him and he was so fun to use now one thing that i've got to say with him the balance didn't affect the card one bit did not affect the card one bit and another thing as well his strength actually didn't feel that bad it didn't feel 62 at all sometimes he came to his own and actually held off some defenders so don't be too worried about that start because it wasn't actually that bad for me whatsoever everything else on the card i mean all round, this card has been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He's so, so fun. Because of the five-star weak foot, he can score on both feet. So, people can't read him. So, that's an amazing, amazing factor. His finishing ability was sensational on both feet. Even outside the box, it was really, really good. His passing as well, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Long passing wasn't even 78. No way. He played that lovely, lovely over-the-top ball to Rashford and then Rashford passed back to him and he got a goal at the end of it. And that pass was ridiculous. So 78 long pass, that's a lie as well. This guy is absolutely amazing. I'd definitely go and try him if you got the coins. I'd definitely, definitely try this card out. I'm really, really happy with this card. And it's come to the time where I do my overall rating. And I'm not going to lie, it's got to be. It's got to be. I've not done this many times this year, but it's a 10. It's a 10. I think the value, I think the way he performed in game, you can play him at central cam, you play him as a striker, you can play him as a wide cam if you wanted to. The versatility on the card, absolutely everything about this card makes him a 10 out of 10. Enjoyment and 10 out of 10 for his 
value and 10 out of 10 overall because he was just brilliant absolutely phenomenal phenomenal card i would definitely recommend this card definitely go and try him i don't know why i hesitated on trying him this year i've i've only just reviewed him now i've only just tried him now for the first time and by god is this card amazing absolutely brilliant so I highly recommend this card, I recommend him over that base icon Dalgleish and as well, he's better than Ben Yedder for me, he's better than Ben Yedder, he's just got uh, better passing and stuff like that, he's more versatile than Ben Yedder, he was just fantastic lads, he was, and you've seen it in the clips as well, so if you have enjoyed this Del Piero view today, you know what to do, smash the thumbs up button, and if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel, we're trying to hit those 2000 subscriber mark, so please come and help us with that and as well that I had your review will be coming very very soon so keep your eyes peeled for that one as well so thank you all for watching guys and enjoy the rest of your day